In this video, we're going to look at inverse functions. So if we've got the variable x and we apply the function f, we get f of x. To go back, we apply the function f to the minus 1 or f minus 1, which is the inverse function. Okay, so f minus 1 of x is the inverse function of f of x. So if you have f of x and you apply the function f minus 1, you will get back to the variable x. Okay, so let's have a look at an example. So our first example says, given f of x equals 2x plus 1, find f minus 1 of x, the inverse function. So uh, what we're going to do is, um, th there's a couple of ways you can do this, but the way I would approach it is, well, it's the way I'm just about to show you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let y equal f of x. So in other words, I'm going to replace this f of x with y. So y equals 2x plus 1. And obviously y equals 2 times x plus 1. Now if we make x a subject, that will give us the inverse function because to go from x to y, you would times it by 2 and add 1. So to go from y to x, we would, well, if we change it, uh, make x a subject, we would find out. So what we're going to do is we're going to minus 1 from both sides. So we're going to get y minus 1 equals 2x. Then we're going to divide both sides by 2. Obviously we're trying to make x a subject here. So y minus 1 divided by 2 equals x. And that's it, so this would be the inverse function. So to get from x to y, you would times it by two and then add one. To go from y to x, you would take away one and then divide by two. So this is the inverse function. Now the way we write our answer is, we write f minus one of x. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna change this answer into back to x's, okay? We wanna use the same variable. So instead of y minus one divided by two, we're gonna write x minus one divided by two. Okay, and that's it. So if the function of x is 2 times x plus 1, the inverse function would be x minus 1 and then divided by 2. Uh, let's try it out. Let's just say, for instance, x is equal to, I don't know, uh, 10. So 2 times 10 is equal to 20, plus 1 is 21. So if we want to go backwards, let's put 21 into here. So 21 minus 1 is 20, divided by 2 is 10. So it, it does work. So that's how I would approach an inverse functions question. I let the function they give me in the question be called y. I then make x a subject, and then that would give me the inverse function. I would then write down f minus 1 of x or whatever it might be g minus 1 of x and then write it equal to the function but change the letter from y back to an x. That's it. Let's have a look at another example. Okay, so let's have a look at example 2. So example 2 says, given f of x equals 4 over x minus 5, find f minus 1 of x, the inverse function of x. So remember our approach, we let y equals f of x. So we write y equals 4 over x minus 5. Now we want to make x a subject. Now we've got a bit of a problem here. X is on the denominator, so we're going to need to multiply both sides by x minus 5. Doing that would give me y bracket x minus 5 equals 4. Now remember again, we want to make x a subject, so we don't want it in the brackets. We're going to need to multiply the bracket to get xy minus 5y equals 4. And to make x a subject, well, let's add 5y to both sides. So x y equals 4 plus 5y and we want to divide by y so we're going to get x equals 4 plus 5y over y. Now that means that uh, x is equal to 4 plus 5y over y or we could divide through by y so what that would mean is we get 4 divided by y which is 4 over y and we would get 5y divided by y, which would be plus 5. I'm going to use this version here, 4 over y plus uh, 4 over y plus 5. So that's it. We made x a subject. Now, remember, if we want to, uh, we want to write that in the f minus 1 notation. So we're going to write f minus 1 of x, and we're going to replace the y with an x. So that equals 4 over x plus 5. And that's it. That's the inverse function. So if you've got a function 4 over x plus 5, the inverse function would be 4 over x plus 5. Okay, so it says, given that f of x equals x cubed plus 2, find f minus 1 of x, find the inverse function. So again, let's the function in the question equal y, so y equals x cubed plus 2. Uh, make x a subject, so we're going to sub uh, subtract 2 from both sides, so y minus 2 equals 
x cubed and now we're going to cube root both sides now be careful if it was a square um to do with what values of x and y can work and that's more of an a level topic and this video i've made today is focused on the sort of the new gcse style questions which i don't think would include too much detail in terms of domains and ranges um, again if you're doing gcse maths don't worry too much about what i'm saying at the minute but just be aware that if you're doing a level maths there's another video on corporate maths you'd want to watch and then we're going to cube root both sides here so the cube root of both uh, sides would give me the cube root of y minus 2 equals x now remember we want f minus 1 of x so we write that down f minus 1 of x and we're going to write it equal to uh, this but remember we replace the y with x so it's going to be the cube root of x minus 2 and that's it so that's how to approach uh, function uh, inverse functions questions